Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Packet Tracer tutorial. In part 1 of this tutorial, I'll talk about what is the telnet and how we can use the telnet. And in a part 2, I'll talk about the SSH, which is the secure way to log into your devices. Usually, in real world, your devices such as their routers and switches are located in a server room. And to configuration of your devices, you should go to the server room, take your laptop or a PC, then use the proper cable, which is this console cable, and connect this light blue cable to the serial port of your laptop and connect to the console port of your router or switches. After that, you can use the terminal application such as a PuTTY or the trial term or the Windows Hyper Terminal. In the Cisco Packet Tracer, you can click on the machine, go to the desktop tab and click on a terminal icon. You can set the different port configuration for your terminal application, but usually this is the standard to log in to the Cisco devices, bit rate, data bit, parity and stop bit, as well as the follow control should be set similar like this. Then click on OK, the terminal windows will be open and you can see you are exactly logged into your device and you can do your setting here for example i'll enable the this router and change the host name for that as you remember the host name and the router for example 01 and you can easily configuration your devices via the console port and the terminal application by the way it's not a very easy way to always you go to the cold server room and do your configuration. First of all, it's not very convenient. It's a cold and it's not secure as well because you can sit on your office and remotely connect to your devices. What's happened in the real world? Usually, you connect your IT office PC to the switches. We use the normal configuration, go to the fast Ethernet and connect to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 10. And then let's connect this router, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, to this switch. And we are going to prepare our router, which is able to accept the telnet session from this PC from the IT office, which is may located far from the server room. As I mentioned that, in real world, you should go to the laptop or the, take your PC and connect directly to the router for setting. I'll do the similar things here. I go to the laptop, click on that, continue the desktop tab, terminal again. I do this configuration with the terminal configuration. By the way, you can do the similar thing in the packet tracer, directly click on the router and do your setting. Click OK. And first of all, I set the password for my devices. To do that, go to the global configuration mode, enable. You can use both secret or password. I use a secret, which is an encrypted version and is more secure. And just set the password like a Cisco and it's not very so secure password, by the way. But for the lab environment, it's OK. Then I go to the line mode by using this command. Line. Okay, use the question mark as usual. We see what we have. We can do the setting for the console port or the VTI uh, line, which are the virtual terminal, which is useful for telnet and SSH. I go to the line VTI, then use the tab again, use a question mark. And for this device, we've got the VTI 0 slash 4 which means I can configure the VTI line 0 to 4 and press enter as you can see our mode is changed we are in a line mode now uh, I set the password with this command use the password then I use the Cisco one for the telnet password or VTI line password 
then you need to add this command as well which is the login which means that this line needs the login and if I don't set this setting before that I was unable to connect via telnet to my router or devices okay our job is done now oh beside that I need to set the IP address on the connection port of here you can see uh, we don't set any IP or connection between our router device and this switch okay let's do this with the similar way go to the terminal application again okay then exit from this line configuration mode back to the global configuration mode go to the interface phase 0 slash 0 which is connected to our switches set the IP address IP address 192.168.0.1 submit mask 255.255.255.0 if you don't know about these commands you can refer back to our previous video and see how we set the IP address on our interface of our devices then we use the no shutdown command and our line protocol is up now okay which means the i router is almost ready for telnetting session i close this video waiting for propagation time this cable became uh, green and let's set the ip address on our pc in our it office as i said i mentioned is the uh, ip address should be the 192.168.0.10 slash 24 I click on a PC go to the desktop tab IP configuration set the IP address 192.168.0.10 submit mask is a slash 24 or 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168.0.1 okay IP is set let's go to the CMD or command prompt to make sure that our IP is set yes everything is working fine and let's ping I, our router ping 192.168.0.1 and we've got a reply from our router okay let's telnet by telnet our destination telnet 192.168.0.1 and when I press the enter you can see uh, the router asked me the, for authentication and I should type the password for telnet which we set as a Cisco one then we are in a router and we can enable this device and it needs the privilege mode password which is Cisco with enable the secret and as you can see we are connected to our router from our IT office which is located in a server room we easily telnet from here this IT office to the server room routers and we can disconnect it, this cable easily okay let's disconnect we don't need this laptop in the server room we can lock down our server room and it will be secure then back to our PC and you, know, you can use any telnet client or in Windows you can use a telnet client and let's show IP interface brief command and as you can see even you can go to the global configuration mode change whatever you want R1 I change the host name for this device and voila yes you telnet easily to the router device which is located in the server room by the way, the telnet is not secure because the communication in a telnet is happen in a plain text. And if somebody somehow connect to this switch or somewhere else uh, can listen to your packet and capture your packet easily, can understand what's your telnet password, and um, it's have a lack of security in this communication. In next video. I'll explain about the SSH, which is the secure replacement for a telnet. Thank you for watching the part one of the, this tutorial. See you in a part two. Thank you.